and back for more. More side questing, more ignoring the plot. As usual. The only true way to play an RPG. Of course. Let's see what else is in the system. Survey. Gold on a nearby moon. Oh my. Free credits. <laughs> What's on this rock? Yeah, another League, medallion. League of One Medallion. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. I'm having dinner by the way. Ah, so that would be the sounds of spoon and plate. Uh mm huh. -hmm. And that over there is plot. So we're gonna ignore that. <laughs> we're also gonna ignore that because that's a DLC that has literally no purpose. Hmm. It's basically a combat arena. I highly doubt we're really gonna use the levels. Yeah, we're not playing Mech Warrior 4. Message was it? coming in. Mm -hmm. Patching it through. Commander, we've we got here. a situation that requires your expertise. A group of fanatical biotics have kidnapped the chairman of the Parliament Subcommittee on Transhuman Studies. They're afraid of sustained damage and is dead in space. Get in there and take them down. What are the biotics asking for? They're L2 biotics, and most of them are suffering major side effects from the implants. The subcommittee denied a request for reparations to all L2 biotics. Oh. Apparently they'd like the chairman to reconsider. What kind of I mean, that is an understandable... Yeah. ...loading equipment into the freighter. Expect traps and combat drones. Nothing you can't handle. What's the priority of saving the chairman? Saving it would be my preference, but we must make it clear that these tactics don't work, Commander. Your top priority is to neutralize the biotics. Understood. So it's more of a... Uh, you're not wrong, but you, but you didn't have to be such a mess about it. <laughs> Pretty much. Good luck. Fifth lead out. Now, I'm, uh, I'm just trying to find us if it didn't help fully highlight it. Mm -hmm. And just where do you think you're going, buddy? This is close quarters. So we're clearly going to bring the big guy and the other person that carries a shotgun. Of course. Tally, you okay? She's actually bouncing on her heels. She must be very excited. That's adorable. Yes. What if a reason why we're going to romance her? You know, in about 50 hours so no <laughs> gameplay or so. However long it takes to get halfway through the second game or so. When romance is actually something to think about. Mm -hmm. And now for the fun part. Dealing with biotics. Intruder! I think I noticed this. No. Go, go, go! I'm guessing that's the time I don't saving. Yeah. Is Rex using a shotgun? Okay. Yeah. Valley's down. I'm about to go down. I never thought a pistol would be so lethal. In when there's so many. And when they can do that to you. Mm-hmm. That might help. Oh, I can use Unity, thank god. That's also, pretty useful, yeah. Auto level up. <laughs> yeah, that might help. Dead anyway. Yep, probably should have done that before the fight started. 
hindsight's 2020. Well, now I know. Unity. Dump a bunch of talents. And I'm just gonna go straight into putting stuff into shotgun for Tally. Shotgun. Give me that sweet loot. Intruders, kill the hostage! Where is she? Try right, next time. Yes, that's all right. And the cover system in this game is not the best. Okay. That is not the button I wanted to push. Let's see. Hmm. Explode, you stupid. I tried throwing a grenade and it just stuck to the crate. Oh, well then. Oh, fucking gay then. Ladies and gentlemen, I am bad. Did you know that? Mm hmm. But did you also know that I'm bad? Not like I have much much space to to speak there. Uh, and you know what? What's that three out of six anyway? Where? I don't know, about, um, oh, grenades. Resources. Grenades. Uh -huh. I kind of need to hang on to them. You don't get you don't get them that often. Hammerhead rounds, literally just yeet rounds. Hmm. Oh, that me. And it's a poison to discover that you can't actually carry infinite of them. Yeah. Or maybe you'll for that matter. But you can't you can't upgrade your capacity in different ways. Oh. Intruders, kill the hostage. Oh. Okay, Tally, thanks. <coughs> okay, what is she doing? She got in the way just as I threw a grenade, so it just kind of went off into the corner. One line. Can you do You must die. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Two lines. I will destroy you and you must die. More Daka. Negative contacts, Commander. Uh fuck. Fine doorway. Door. Now we two whole minutes to spare, too. See how it is? You write letters and everyone ignores you. Force is the only thing people appreciate. So how about if I kill Chairman Burns and finish the charade? Please! I was trying to help you people! Let's not do anything we're all going to regret. Why not? What have we got to lose? Since the chairman here decided that we didn't get reparations, we've got nothing left to live for. But I've changed my mind. Seeing you all, it, it, it's clear that you all deserve... You had your chance. 
Some L2s are nearly crippled from side effects of the implants, but you voted against reparations. Think about this. Burns is the one man who can help you. Yes, if you release me, I can take another look at the reparations request. What, we're supposed to trust you? Sure, you promise us freedom and say everything will be fine, but as soon as we surrender, you'll double-cross us. I'm not promising to let you go. All I'm saying is that Burns will take another look. Right, Burns? Absolutely. I had no idea that the L2 biotics were this desperate. If I'd known, the reparations will come. For whatever it's worth, I promise that. Oh, boy. You're right. I don't want to die. Maybe something will happen this time. We surrender. Thank you, Commander. I thought I was dead when they took me. I'll see to it that the reparations discussion is reopened. I didn't know they were so desperate. A fifth fleet cruiser will be by shortly to pick you and the prisoners up. You know, tense moment. Everyone leaves happy. You know, aside yeah. from everyone in that cargo hold. <laughs> I was about to say, it's like, I mean, they managed to survive. Yeah, you know. Most everyone got it. No, no, not even most everyone. That's a ninety percent casualty count. Mhm. Mm Listen, they shot first. Let the record show. Mhm. 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 Who stacks crates like this? Probably someone against people with OCD. Clearly. Message coming in. Patching it through. Thank you for dealing with the hostage situation, Commander. Chairman Burns was quite impressed by the way you resolved the situation peacefully. Your assistance above and beyond the formal duties has been noted, Commander. Fifth me now. I guess that's his way of giving me a pat on the back. Pretty much. Anything of interest? Mm, not here. Survey. Protein data disk. Hmm. Asteroid here. Survey. Large positive of magnesium. So you can actually discover things before you directly send to them. More of you just find things, I guess. Yeah. Centorium. Thorium, huh? Yup. Message coming in. Patching it through. Commander, I'm glad you're in the area. We've got an emergency situation, and you're the only one I can trust to get the job done. Because I always happen to be in the area. Oh, this one doesn't sound like the, the guy in XCOM. <laughs> the drugs have temporarily driven researchers crazy, and the biotics are effectively using them as human shields. So if I shoot everything that moves, a lot of researchers are going to die. Exactly. A normal team could handle the biotics, but a lot of innocent researchers would die during the operation. That's why I contacted you. I'm hoping you can keep the casualties to a minimum. I'll do everything within my power to bring those researchers back safely, Admiral. I know you will, Commander. I'm sending you the station coordinates now. Fifth lead out. Oh boy, crazy biotics. As if we didn't just deal with that. Pretty much. Except this time they have shields. Yeah, mid shields in fact. 
Oh boy, we can land here. Let's go with a bit more precision in our team this time. Hmm. As I d bring it to two people who use assault rifles. <laughs> I mean, it's more precise than a shotgun, isn't it? Mm hmm. Yeah, I might as well check. Nah, I've still got the best assault rifle I'm going to get for a while. The fact that every a sni a a sniper rifle has worse accuracy than the starting one. Yeah, that is rather weird. Like, you would think snipers would be would have a pretty good accuracy right then. You would think. Yet it's, yet it's somehow worse than most other weapons. I might stop hunting all the uh, uh, mineral deposits simply because of how time consuming it is just trying to drive to all of them. What XP, please? I mean, yes, XP and money, but oh god, the amount of time it Time we could shave off of the <coughs> gameplay by just not. Yeah, I. If they're along with that one. If they're along the way, I might grab them. But other than that, don't know. Don't know. Don't ask. Oh, hello! Nope, 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 nope. Suddenly, Thresher Maw. Suddenly, Thresher Maw! Yeah, that's, um... Did you manage to kill it? No. I just went outside its aggro range. Uh, we should probably kill it. Got to if I want to get to that thing. Are, are, are you really going to be that easy to exploit? You really are. Okay. You managed to get him anyway, but you know. This is my idea, is this one tougher than the last one? Aww. I you didn't manage to get him. I wasn't gonna chance it. I didn't know if I suppose. Last thing I wanted was it jumping back underground and then popping up underneath us before I had a chance to move. That would have been most unpleasant. Yes, I can imagine. Terrain insignia. No, no points for guessing what probably happened to it. I wonder why. And supposedly the, the deal with pressure malls is uh, uh, there's, they spawn from spores that can actually survive hard vacuum, so they can literally just drift through space until they land on a planet and grow. Wait, who can? The Thresher Malls. Oh. So they can be found practically anywhere. Yeah, that's a bit dirty. Yeah, like, oh wow, this planet looks beautiful, it's wonderful, it's got everything we need! And Thresher Malls. I this place would be great if it weren't for the pressure malls. It also means any planet could suddenly get pressure malls. Yeah. Do I imagine they're a lot easier to deal with when they're young? I also imagine it probably takes a, quite a bit long for them to grow into that kind of size. Probably. Watch that. Watch those actually be the young ones. I don't want to think about bigger ones.
According to these data logs, the survey team unearthed some kind of alien technology. Could be answers at the excavation site. I mean, that's kind of one of the things that Genshin does not, I think, about it, because there's this random move that's uh, like abyss mage levels of difficult, I guess. That's, and it's called uh, like a hatchling something. That is <laughs> concerning. Yeah. It's like, well, I'm um, looking forward to it. To the inevitably going to be a boss, <laughs> higher ones. Down the hatch. Oh my. So they found some kind of alien technology. They found Reaper tech. Of course they did. Oh, it's the... It's the annoying ones. Yep. Shields down, no shit. Yeah, it's almost like they explode whenever they're killed. No, they don't explode when they're killed, they just have an EMP pulse. Oh. So they can be... Rather frustrating to deal with. So I say. Oh, bollocks. I guess it's just the high tech version of biting you. Great, I should go kill the pressure mob. Oh my. Don't forget to save next time. That's our time, by the way. We got time. Okay. Like on one side, I I, um, I have an easier time looking at the clock. On the other side, I don't actually have a timer. <laughs> <laughs> so sometimes I forget when we actually started it. <laughs> minor details, right? Minor, minor. Now, where's the asshole? That's what it is. That can only... is not very accurate, is it? <laughs> I think it's just... Collision issues or something. Because it's... It's hitting like normal. Oh. So it's just the special effect that makes it look like it's... Hitting way to the right. Yeah. Yay! That's a good amount of money. I guess it probably ate a lot of people. Maybe. Shit. That's weather. Oh, hush you. Looking at the way you do it, you might have a bit of issues with the way I tend to do saves. Hmm. You mean besides the fact that you name yours in very elaborate ways? It's precise that because you just keep like a set amount to not blow it up or whatever. I just make more new and new, more and more new saves. I normally do that, and then I saw how many saves I had on my XCOM folder the other day, and I was like, ooh. Yeah. I guess, but I mean, at least this way, in my case, I guess I got used to it because recordings and stuff. Mm. And in some games I am glad I did. I'll get back to redoing cross code for that same reason. Eventually. I, mean, I need hey, to refinish it. I mean hey, at least it's not say, you know, Cyberpunk where 
your save just keeps getting bigger and bigger. Yeah. <coughs> uh, so I still have like like forty separate cyberpunk saves. Ugh. Disgusting. According to these data logs, the survey team unearthed some kind of alien technology. Could be answers at the excavation site. Can't be arsed. Okay then. Yeah, I guess it's also helpful if I want to go back and get achievements or something. I guess that makes sense. some grenades. Yeah, you're right, they do. Uh, also, you lost the book. Do it, do the EMP book, and they die. Open fire! Those are not machine cultists. Those are husks. Yes, we've seen these before. They're annoying. Yeah. Yeah. I'm so glad they get a substantial nerf in the later game. Yeah. I can't break the damn thing. What even is that thing? I don't know. It's a glowy, o ominous orb of doom. I don't know. I get the feeling like. You're supposed to try to kite them around a room, but, uh, no. Yeah, that, would, that would be worse. I mean, it might work for some classes. I mean, maybe, but it will also require you to actually be more mindful of your surroundings while moving backwards, while shooting the hooks. So it's like, just, just let them cluster together. Yeah, if you're not... What the fuck that? They're just an invisible wall. It's just an invisible wall. That would make things even worse. Yeah. Like trying to dodge the host randomly invisible for three in one. Fuck you too, game. Is that loot? Nope, it didn't. Okay, it's just the... Yeah, that's just the way out, I guess. So there was basically nothing in there besides just... Besides Mops. just the answer of what happened to the people there. I mean, I guess that's that too. Mm, let's see what the anomaly is and the debris. Remember when in games they didn't used to have long, complicated animations about getting in and out, in and out of vehicles because <laughs> it didn't really affect the immersion anyway? I know, right? Now, if you don't spend 20 minutes trying to get out of your car under fire, it's just not immersive enough. And motherfucker, when I'm playing a game, I don't care. And I'm trying to get out of something under fire. I don't care about the immersion. I care about not dying. But I have to choose my horse based on the size of their balls. <laughs> Uh, fucking Red Dead Redemption. The fact that they use that as a, as a, as a key point under 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 accuracy and lore. What the fuck is this? 
Proving once again that there isn't this such a thing as too much immersion. As transmitting type beam signals into synchronous orbits, this disrupts the survey team's GPS is causing them to crash. Uh, is that a bad thing? Yes, that's a bad thing. That's why we turned it off. Uh, uh, it's the reason why all of these are here. Yeah, yeah, like, it's just that the description made me think that what we did made it crash. Oh, no, no, no. I'm not playing Renegade, I'm playing Paragon. Okay, Done. but I also don't expect you to remember everything. Although, at this point, I could play Renegade if I wanted to. I see this, and I expect the Thresher mod to drop out of it. To pop out of it. It won't surprise me. No, but it would annoy me. Eh, it's what it's been. It's annoying. Yeah, but kind of annoying. Oh, hello uh, there. Hello, gentlemen. Oh, oh, look. Loot piñatas. Oh my god, my aim. Why is my aim bad? I'm getting ragdolled. I gotta take some yes, Run away. Okay, take the I can't aim until I heal. That makes total sense. The scope sway makes total sense. I mean, if you don't have anywhere to secure it, then. Again, I suppose you would know better than I would anyway. It does seem to be swaying way more than it should. That, it is. that I can at least. <laughs> that much I can at least notice very clearly. It might just be because you have like, what, one level in sniper. Even so. I think we're good, Shepard. Now, how he was launching rockets from this thing, I want to know. Um, heavily modified? Damn it. Do you have any skill points? Uh, yeah. Actually, no. Garrus does not have electronics unlocked. Shit. Welp. Oh well. Fitness. Ew. Um. No. <laughs> Wouldn't you? Well, hopefully that's enough. I mean, still need to put more points into uh, uh, decryption, regardless. Blah. Oh well. Not important. And if it is important, yeah. well, it can't be that important. That wasn't the lab we were looking for. But we found a lab. That's, uh, that's useful, right? Progress. Not really. <laughs> no, not really. Oh, that's probably what it is. You know, just maybe. Yes, that, that does seem like the right place. We can pick that up later. Yeah. Let's take a visit to the uh, Citadel. Go talk to. Oh her. my. You know, go talk to that Asari about her um sister. Mm-hmm. You know, minor detail that.
Oh yeah, I forgot I actually have to walk all the way up to the airlock. Sorry. Mm. Not like it really matters. Hmm. Equalizing interior pressure with exterior atmosphere. Logged. The commanding officer is ashore. Exo Presley has the deck. Hmm. You look important. Rear Admiral Mikhailovic. Uh, must be Russian. So it would seem. Admiral Mikhailovic. Mikhailovic. Fifth fleet. We weren't told to expect you, sir. I would have prepared a formal greeting. Spare me the pleasantries. I command the 63rd Scout Flotilla. You and the Normandy were slated for my unit after shakedown. Then the Council got their paws, claws, tentacles, whatever. They got them on our ship and you. <coughs> well, he's a xenophobe. I still <coughs> serve the Alliance, sir. As a Spectre, I can advance our interests to the Council. Hmm. You still know what color your blood is, Shepard? I don't begrudge the politician's decision to throw you to the Council. It's an opportunity. I do begrudge this over-designed piece of tin. The Normandy is a fine ship, sir. She's served us well so far. It's a gimmick, Commander. Useless in a stand-up fight. This experiment diverted billions from our appropriations bills for the same price we could have had a heavy cruiser. But no, we had to make nice to the Turians, throw money at a co-developed boondoggle. I'm here to make an inspection, Commander. Normandy is an Alliance warship. I intend to see she's up to snuff. We'd be honored to show her to you. I'll just bet. Wait here. I won't be long. Fair enough. Commander, I'm not happy. What did you find out of order? <coughs> Who designed that CIC? Putting the commander aft of everyone else is inefficient. What if he needs to discuss with the operators toward the bow? <laughs> Personal radios. <laughs> Modified <coughs> Turian style. They prefer commanders looking over their subordinates rather than in the middle of them. We wanted to see how effectively they can command with that setup. Hmm. Reasonable goal, but they should have studied that in a lab rather than on a frontline warship. I had to shake my head at that drive core of yours. 120 billion credits of element zero to make this thing able to move without giving itself away. You realize we could make drive cores for 12,000 fighters with that money? What good is it to hide for a few hours anyway? Useless! We can loiter in an enemy system and monitor traffic, or drop infiltration teams on enemy worlds. Normandy can be more effective than the Solarian STG. Maybe, maybe. But that's not the job of a proper warship. It's not a proper warship. Find and kill the enemy fleet, not count how many times their garrison goes to the bathroom. And we need to talk about your crew, Commander. Krogan? Oh my. Sorry. What are you thinking, Commander? You can't allow alien nationals free access to Alliance equipment? Between Saren and the Geth, we have enough enemies out here. Treating other species with suspicion and distrust won't win hearts and minds. That assumes the hearts and minds are worth winning. That hasn't been proven yet. You have anything else to say, Commander? Any other justifications for the state of this vessel? I think the Normandy is a good ship, sir. Even if you disagree, you have to see that her joint construction and multiracial crew make the Alliance look better. Your job is to look good, Commander. The Alliance Navies is to win wars. I'm not convinced Normandy isn't a waste of taxpayer money, but I am convinced that you believe otherwise, and that you'll use it to its best ability. I'll be submitting a report to the Joint Military Council. It will not be as negative as I planned. Good hunting, Commander <laughs> Shepard. Make us proud. I guess there's something. Well, he was an asshole. <laughs> Two Paragon points for all those speech checks that you need, like, Ten points to get. <coughs> yeah. <sighs> In other news, Exogeny Corp is still denying reports that one of their survey teams has gone missing in the Hades Gamma Cluster. When asked why communication with the survey team was suddenly cut off last week, company officials refused to comment. Gee, I wonder what happened to them.
Commander Shepard? Oh no. A reporter. Oh, my. oh no. Algelani, Westerland News. Would you answer a few questions for our viewers? What do you want to know? You've been given a unique position to represent our race. People want to get a sense of how you'll do that. Humans have been trying to get the respect of the galactic community for 26 years. With that in mind, what are your feelings on being the first human specter? The specters represent the best of every species in the galaxy. To be asked to join them is an honor. Some have said your appointment is the Citadel throwing humans a bone. Have you encountered any situations where the Citadel asked you to place its needs before the needs of Earth? They know better. Nah. <laughs> The Council is concerned with the needs of the whole galactic community. We're part of that community now. Our needs are on their agenda, but we're one of many. You really do believe that, don't you? You've been given command of an advanced human warship for your missions. Is there anything you'd like to say about it? I'm pretty sure that's the punch her uh, option. <laughs> Actually, the Normandy was co-developed by human and Turian engineers. Its design incorporates many innovations, all of which are classified, I'm afraid. So, the Turians have knowledge of the Normandy that is being kept secret from the Alliance public? Do you think it was appropriate to hand Earth's most advanced warship over to the Citadel? I wasn't aware it had been handed over to anyone. I'm in command, and last I checked, I'm human. Same goes for my crew. Human, yes, but you do work for the Citadel now, Commander. One last question, Commander. Rumors back home say you're tracking a rogue specter named Saren. Do you have any comment on that? Hmm. I think I've just... yeah. I'm afraid Maybe? I can't comment on whatever my current assignment may or may not be. Don't worry, we'll find out. The eyes of Earth are on you. Don't let us down. Thank you for your time, Commander Shepard. <laughs> There's a lot to be said that when mo most guides for the, quote, best endings of the, of the trilogy, both Mass Effect 1 and Mass Effect 2 have a line st slated, Do not punch Kalish Benson al Jelani. <laughs> as tempting as it is. Yes. There's also a reason there's a, that Shepard Punch is a meme. Hmm. This interview is over. Whop. Uh, so satisfying. If it wasn't playing a Paragon. Yep. Now, we... about that, uh, a sorry. About that sister of yours. <laughs> Let's, uh, have a little chat. I hope you're not too attached to her. Commander Shepard. I am Nasana Dantius. I'm glad you're here. I must talk to you about my sister Dahlia. She's been kidnapped by slave. <laughs> Dahlia's dead, Nasana, and I know she was blackmailing you. Hmm. And I was all set to try to manipulate you into hunting her down for me. I guess that's necessary now, wouldn't it? You wanted your sister dead? If people found out my sister was a criminal, I'd be considered a security risk. It revoked my clearance, or placed me on administrative leave until she was apprehended. I shall try well, to she's apprehended. <laughs> as a token of my appreciation. I'm sure you'll find the amount satisfactory. You're a diplomat on her way up the ranks. It could be handy to have a specter who owes you a favor. You make a good point. Anyone can come up with credits. But I can give you authorization to purchase prototype Asari mods. I will give Ooh, you right. to our manufacturer's preferred client list. I think you'd be very interested in what they have available. Goodbye, Shepard. It has been a pleasure doing business with you. Now well, that's interesting. Yeah. Would prefer to never see her again. I don't Most like. Never her, would they? I don't like politicians, even more so ones that try to manipulate you into doing dirty work like that. Yeah. See, don't understand, don't misunderstand. I don't mind if you ask me to do the dirty work, but just ask me. Yeah. He really doesn't need the... 
you really don't need to go around the long way for him. Just, just point the, uh, just point him in the right direction. Give me a target and tell me what I get out of it. Nine yeah. out of ten, I will take it. This is the Paragon, guys. <laughs> Listen, I'm a nice guy, but that does not mean I am a nice guy. And with that note, I think that's enough for today. Yep. Talk to you later. <sighs> Paragon for life.